Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today I'm going to share with you two different style DIY Christmas wreaths. One's more of a traditional and the second one's more bohemian. So the first one we're going to be doing is a gingerbread reef. And what we're going to do is you're going to grab any kind of uh, reef frame that you want to use. I'm using the square one. And then you're going to grab some of this Christmas garland and you're going to start wrapping it around the reef frame of your choice. And all I did was just twist the, tighten the very beginning of the garland onto my frame. And then I just started wrapping around the garland. So I didn't add any hot glue or zip ties to secure the garland onto the frame itself simply because it does have wiring and it is nice and secure that way. But if you don't feel comfortable just wrapping it around the way I am, go ahead and use uh, some zip ties or even maybe some hot glue to secure it every so often. Let me So once you're done, just go ahead and pick a corner or even maybe the center of whatever frame you choose. And you're going to go ahead and grab a zip tie and just add a zip tie to one of the corners in order for you to hang your reef. You can also use the wiring itself, but I just chose to use a zip tie. So now the fun part starts. So just go ahead and decorate it any way you like. I'm gonna stick with more of the farmhouse traditional style uh, ribbons. Just try to use more of the wire ribbons um, instead of the just normal ones, uh, just so they can stay nice and secure and the way you shape them, they'll have more tendency of staying that way. So the way I'm going to decorate is I'm just kinda lap over and stack all the ribbons that I chose. Then I'm just gonna kind of start at the beginning or very top of my reef, get a zip tie, and then I'm just gonna secure the ribbons with a zip tie to start decorating with them. So just tighten it as much as you can. And then I'm just gonna make like a half a circle to shape it. And then I'm just gonna put, make the ribbons go more in an angle inwards of my frame and then do another zip tie to secure it. And I'm just gonna continue doing this throughout my entire reef. So I'm basically making like a half a circle or maybe you could even say a bubble um, with the ribbons and then just adding a zip tie. So you can make it as long and as big as you like. I'm kind of making my little loops um, about three inches to two inches in in length. So just go ahead and continue doing that and then getting a zip tie. And since I'm using the square reef frame, I can actually um, make the ribbon go towards the center of the reef or even towards the edge of the reef. So it's all completely up to you where you wanna actually secure your ribbon. So once I was done adding the ribbons, I, you're going to see that I did leave a gap and that's where I'm going to actually add the gingerbread itself. So I didn't see why I needed to add ribbon there. So in order to make this more cost and budget friendly, I just went ahead and left that empty and not added ribbon there. So just turn around your reef and just kind of cut all those extra zip tie uh, pieces off. And then just cut off the rest of your ribbon and then go ahead and we're going to get the gingerbread and we're going to the gingerbread man and we're going to actually attach it onto our reef itself using zip ties as well. 
and throughout my DIYs, I always tend to start shaping my ribbons and fixing them the way I want them to stay. But you'll see me do this throughout the entire uh, DIY or project just because, you know, sometimes I want uh, the ribbons to be different styles or maybe one color to go one way and the other color to go the other way. So you'll see me do that throughout the entire project. So again, with your gingerbread or with, depending on whatever you're going to add, just go ahead and add a zip tie to the back of it and you're going to attach it to your frame that way as well. And I just added two of the zip ties to my gingerbread. And there you have it. You can basically stop there, but I chose to go ahead and just make a different kind of ribbon so I can make um, a bow, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and glue and make a loop with each one of these ribbons that I had, these extra pieces. And then once I'm done uh, gluing all of these ribbons, making a little loop on the top, I'm gonna bunch them up um, in my hands to form my bow. So basically I'm just gonna grab one of each color and you can make just any kind of pattern you like and I'm just gonna continue doing this until I'm happy with the size of bow I want. Then I'm gonna grab another zip tie and I'm gonna tighten these all together and kind of fluff them up and set them aside and this is gonna be the center of my actual bow itself. This is a great way and a great bow to use all those extra pieces of ribbon that you may have because it really, you can't go wrong with the different colors it just depending on what you're doing. So just go ahead and bunch them up and make one of those fun bows. So as you can see, I just grabbed some more red ribbon and I'm gonna go ahead and just make a larger bow. And I'm gonna attach this one to the opposite side of my frame. And you can hot glue it or add a zip tie to it as well. And what I do to the bow tails is I kind of just roll them up. And then you're going to see me pull it down just to get that curl on my bows. And then I'm going to grab that smaller ribbon that I made the bows and I'm going to glue that on top of the larger one. And then I had some of these uh, glitter ball uh, vase fillers and I just decided to go ahead and add them into each one of my um, ribbons where I actually added a zip tie just to cover it up and to make it look like little cherries as well. And uh, some of these do come with different colors. So I'm using red and that off gold color. And as well as I'm going to use some of these red stars and even a white star on its uh, Christmas Santa Claus hat. Another fun idea that you might want to you add can even to your get, uh, some of those battery LED operated wire lights. You can purchase them at Walmart or even on Amazon and just wrap it around your frame um, to make your wreath light up. So I decided to go ahead and add some of these gingerbread uh, stickers that I had as well. And these are from Dollar Tree also. So I just went ahead and added them um, in different areas of my wreath. And then once you're done, there you have it, a really fun, traditional Christmas wreath. So our second project is going to be more of a bohemian style Christmas wreath. And what I'm going to use is some of the yarn from Dollar Tree. Then you can grab a cardboard or a piece of wood like I have. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around uh, the yarn around my piece of wood. And I believe I wrapped it around about 50 times. But again, you can use it, uh, wrap it around as many times as you want, just depending on how thick and wide you want your um, ribbon to hang from your wreath. And then once you're done wrapping it around any piece you're gonna use, just go ahead and cut one side of that yarn. And just set it aside. And as you can see, I'm just gonna start grabbing um, a few pieces of the yarn and then I'm going to add it and attach it to my frame. And I, 
And as you can see, I really didn't count how many of these pieces of ribbon or yarn that I'm using for each one of the bunches. I just kind of kept it like about five to seven pieces of yarn to each one of the little bunches when I add it to my frame. And as you can see, the way I'm attaching it to my frame is I'm just going over and then pulling through the yarn um, through that loop and going above it, under it, I'm sorry, and then, then you can attach it that way. So it's over and under. So once you're done adding all the yarn that you want onto your reef, you're going to go ahead and grab some of these small little bells. And what I do is on the yarn, I do add a little bit of hot glue on the ends just to make it easier for me to thread my bell through that yarn. And then just kind of play with that bell and see where you want to have it on through that yarn. And then you're just going to tie a knot behind the bell in order for it to stay in place. So just add as many bells as you want to your yarn. So I added about eight of these little bells. Then what I did was just grab a little brush um, and just kind of straighten out as much as I could the yarn. And then I'm just going to kind of cut it into a peak. Now it's not even and it's not perfect, but that's part of the style that I like um, for the Bohemian style. So once you're happy the way it looks at the bottom, now you can just decorate your frame uh, just with anything that you like. I had a package of these four um, Christmas stems and I'm just going to go ahead and tie and twist two of them together just to wrap it around my wire framing and I'm going to attach it again with some zip ties. The Bohemian style is more of a simple style and more of the natural look so um, you don't want to add too much to it but you do want to decorate it just so it can look like a Christmas wreath. So just continue adding your stems and as you can see I even cut one of my stems just to add and attach it to a different area and of course you can do that or even leave it as is. So once you're done adding all four of the stems you can add a little bit of that bohemian touch by adding one of these little uh, flower arrangements that I got at Dollar Tree also in a bag of the potpourri. Then I had one, one actually left of the bells, that's a red bell, and I just added some green yarn to that red bell in order for me to attach it to the flowers itself. And I also had some of these little deer um, antlers, <laughs> I forgot what they were called, some of these deer antlers, and I'm going to go ahead and attach those to my wreath as well. And I attached everything with some hot glue. And the final piece is just me adding my bell. And there you have it, a really beautiful bohemian style Christmas wreath. So let me know which one is your favorite down below and or also what kind of Christmas decorations are you doing? What style? So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.